All right. I'm back, Internet. It is I, Starscream, the ruler of the galaxy, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. I received three questions today, which is good. It's better than last time. And uh, I'm going to give you some answers to these questions. So here we go. First question comes from Wade Philpott on Facebook. And he says, could you be possessed by the Venom symbiote? And if so, well, how would that play out? Uh, I guess he's going off of the popularity of the recent uh, Venom movie. Uh, how could I answer this? You know, I actually paid money for that movie. I had some people around and uh, actually wanted to go see something and ended up watching that. Uh, it had a little too much face eating for my, my liking. And uh, my best answer to your question is that if, if I, uh, Starscream, if I, if I were to get all oiled up by some demon uh, uh, substance, I'd probably end up looking like Sky Warp. That's my answer to that. And uh, alternatively, I'll answer you that uh, the Venom uh, talking voice in the head that's, uh, you know, I, I already have enough voices in my head, which is fine. I, I ignore all of them. <laughs> um, next question. My next question comes from Daria Sigma. She's also on uh, Facebook. And uh, the question is, how does the Monty Hall problem work? Uh, and uh, Daria says... Uh, uh, this does a, a, a head head trick every time you come across it. it. Yeah, I don't find it really that confusing. Uh, just to be clear, the Monty Hall problem, uh, he was an old game show host, and he came up with this question uh, that everybody got stumped on. And the question was that if you were a contestant on a game show, and there were three doors to choose from, and behind two of those doors was a goat, and on the one door, there was uh, a prize of a, a brand new car. And uh, if you picked door number one, for no particular reason, and the game show host then stopped you before revealing the door and, and opened up a random door, door number three perhaps, and behind that door there was a goat. And the game show host were to say, would you like to change your guess? leaving you, of course, two doors left to choose from, including the door you already picked. Now the question is whether or not your odds change mathematically. Uh, I, uh, I looked this up online. Apparently a whole bunch of PhD people and mathematicians all tried to come up with answers to this uh, Monty Hall problem, and they've, they've come to various different conclusions. But I, star scream, I'm going to answer this question. Listen up. The game show host is a dick, okay? This is, this is all you need to know. Game show host is telling you one thing, and then five minutes later, he's telling you something else. He's saying, you know, guess behind one of the three doors. And so you guess one of the doors, and then he's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's only two doors, but you get to smell a smelly goat while you're in the room. And then the audience laughs, and everybody, you know, laughs at you. And then, uh, you know, you get a car that smells like goat piss. Anyways, uh, third question. Uh, comes from Wade again, and Wade asks, uh, is there any chance of some kind of a debate or uh, a co-hosting or a, a jelly, jelly wrestling video starring both you and He-Man? Well, I, I assume you're talking about King He-Man. He's a friend of mine, very good friend of mine. The problem is, Wade, I don't control He-Man, you know? He's, he's never around when I'm around. Uh, I see no coincidence in that. However, you know, I, I assume that in the future you will see King He-Man here and there. I mean, he does work with me sometimes. Invades my videos. <laughs> I'm in a pretty good mood today. Um... And I think I'd have to say that uh, uh, the answer to your question about a debate would have to be that uh, I, I, I know no one that will debate me. In fact, it's one of the tragic side effects of being so smart and being right all the time. 
and no one will debate me. They're afraid they're going to get embarrassed. They usually just block me. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about jelly. Jelly wrestling? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Mmm. Jelly? Jelly? Mmm. By the power of jelly, I have the jelly! <laughs> As for co-hosting, uh, if anybody would like to do some kind of a video uh, with me or for me or send me some kind of a video that I could work with somehow, maybe, uh, who knows, but uh, chances are it's just going to be me. And, uh, you know, you'll be lucky if, uh, if King He-Man shows up. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Uh, I think that's all my questions. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my questions. And uh, from me, Starscream, ruler of the galaxy, to you, Internet, feel free to answer, uh, well, answer your own questions. Ask me. Uh, that, that's what I was going to say. Ask me a question. Uh, ask me anything you like, and we'll do it again. <laughs> it's been fun.